Alright guys, so we're back for another Dokkan Battle Weekly Grind video, and if you're new here, this is a video where I go over all the current open events and summons, or the banners, and I let you know what all their end dates are in case you were wondering, and I go over a little bit about each event just so that way you know what you need to grind out in the event. So let's go ahead and start out with the first one, uh, global side obviously, because you know it just makes sense to go over global first since I'm a primary global player. Uh, the special event is now on. This is for the Dragon Ball Fusions Fused World event. This is the one where you go and you can grind out the Pinnick and Tekka. Now both of these are farmable, they're both available to grind if you go down like the straight path I believe it is, not the left path when you go up against Karoli in round one. Uh, in the second stage, you can still go up against them. Instead of fighting Barlot, you fight the Pinnick or uh, the Pinnick or the Tech. I forgot which one you actually fight against. Yeah, I think you do maybe both. Anyway, um, you can find farm uh, farm them over there. I would recommend doing that just because they are both SSRs and they are both available. They're free. They're free to play units. It's just always worth grinding out free to play units. You never know when they're going to be viable in the future. So go ahead, do that. You can Doken Awaken your Barlot over here. And you can also get additional Pan GT medals, Black Star, Dragon Ball Saga. Now, these Pan medals are available in the actual Dragon Ball GT event, the Black Star Dragon Ball GT event. If you don't, if that's not available right now, well, I know that's not available right now. If you don't have enough of them from when that was available, then you can get uh, grind them here. That will allow you to Doken Wake in your Bullpen and your Pandel. Uh, now, that's really good. Pandel's really good on a Fusions team just because of her passive of attack plus 30% for all allies. It's uh, it, it's unbridled, so there's nothing that's stopping it. Coroli is going to be Dogen Awakened from the Berserker of Destruction Metal, so you're not going to have to worry about that there, but go ahead, grind these metals out if you want to, and grind out the Pinnick Metals. Now, second level that is now available is for Barlot Metals. This is only available from the Fusions event, so even if you don't have Barlot, I'd still recommend grinding them. I believe they're 100% guaranteed. I ran it seven times and I got a drop every single time. So if it's not or if it's not guaranteed, then hey, I got hella lucky. <laughs> uh, but this is going to be available on the second stage. I believe it's super uh, uh, stamina of 18. It's on the left-hand path. Just go ahead, fight him. He's a strength unit. Grind him out until you get all of the medals. And then you can Doken Awake in your Barlot if you have him or just have him in, on hand in case you get him. Very easy, very easy. Um, outside of that, the event is going to run until 1127. So you have a lot of time. You have until the end of the month to actually grind this out. It's very simple, very easy event, so go ahead, do it whenever you have the time. Um, next one is Genius B uh, Bumble's Battle Prep. That runs until 11.09. Now, this event is the event that you get all cool types of support items, Icarus, Sensu Beans, anything that you're going to essentially want to use for the World Tournament. And because it ends on 11.09, that means that we have the World Tournament starting on 11.10. That's this Friday. So that means the World Tournament is going to run Friday. It's probably going to run until the 12th. I didn't check dbc.space for it. So that just means we're going to have a, a big tournament coming, or a shorter tournament coming on, at least I hope. I just hope they don't set it up to run until like Tuesday or something like that. That would be a pain in the butt. Um, as you see over here, I have the information. So it starts 11.09 to 11.13. Shout out to dbc.space, by the way. This is where I'm getting all my information. So it runs until Monday. That kind of sucks. You know, uh, whatever. What can you do? Uh, it runs until Monday night. So that's not horrible. Um, that's, uh, what, four days? So we have four days worth of World Tournament. Uh, the World Tournament reward is going to be the Super Vegito, or not the Super Vegito, the base form Vegito. We already went over this um, a little bit in a separate video. We're going to do a full in-depth guide on the World Tournament rewards. So that's freaking awesome. Uh, we don't have... We do have mission rewards. Okay, we're, we're going to go over all this in a separate video. Uh, but the World Tournament is going to run for about four days. So that's going to happen. <clears throat> Stay tuned for that. The next one is going to be the Majin Buu Trick or Treat. I just want to make sure. Uh, that one runs until 11.15. Go ahead, grind it out for the Candy Vegito. Uh, I don't recommend you going and grabbing or filling in all the dupe pads for him because you don't need to. You can if you want to. I did. I got all four dupe pads unlocked just because it got lucky during my 50 runs. You don't need to. I did the top left, bottom right, or yeah, top left, bottom right, and I just gave him full dodge, so that way he has a really high chance to dodge between his innate passive ability and his uh, well, and, and the actual dupe system. So that's what I got. Plus, you have this really awesome support item, which is randomly changes key spheres to physical type and attack plus five percent per key sphere obtained. So that's really awesome. Um, now, I'm just thinking LR Gohan with this support item. If you were lucky enough to get Weirus from the summons or the gacha, you have Weirus on the field with LR Gohan, and then you use this. Chances are LR Gohan is going to be hitting so freaking hard. I want to actually see that. Um, I have LR Gohan. I don't have Weirus, so I can't do that. But either way, I can get some key orb manipulators to make everything physical, and then we'll see what happens. 
Anyway, um, yeah. So the next matter is going to be, oh, actually, I forgot to tell you. This one ends on 11.15, so you have about another week left for that. You have, you have exactly seven days left until to finish this up. Go ahead, grind it out if you haven't done so already. It's only 50 times to get all the rewards. Next one is Defeat the Legendary Super Saiyan. This is for the Broly event. This is where you Doken Awaken the, um, Goku... Yeah, the Goku, Gohan, and Trunks Super Saiyan cards. Um, they all Doken Awaken with, I believe, seven of each of these medals. So go ahead and run those. They all Doken Awaken to pretty useful forms. Uh, except for this one. I think I don't think he Doken Awakens is something useful, this Goku. Um, he's still cool, but, you know, it's not amazing. Uh, Gohan, I believe it's like, yeah, he, he has a really good attack when he Doken Awakens plus 90%. And Goten is, he's a key orb manipulator, which is really good for the World Tournament when you're running that bo that Broly, because you want him there. He links with Broly for Super Saiyan, and he changes or orbs for him, so really, really worth it. And then you also have the support item, all enemies attack and defense minus 30% for two turns, which is decent, um, really good against the Broly events, so, you know, take that for what you will. You could also grind these two. This trunk sucks, as I always say. Um, this this uh, pan, uh, the Videl is not that great because it's just a great chance of attack for her passive skills. Attack and defense plus 20%. But she does feed into other Videls. If you have them, you can feed them into her. She's freely uh, farmable. They need to really make a good card for all the, all the girls because they have that freaking uh, category, um, Peppy Gals. And the only really like two decent characters is Android 18 and the Khalifla. Oh, I, I guess Kale too, so that's three. But they need to make a really good one. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> the next one, oh, this event ends on 11.13, so you only have about five days left for that. Next one is Super Warrior Slam. Victory will be mine. This is the Bio Broly event. It runs until 11.08, so it ends today, guys. It ends today. If you haven't grinded it out, go ahead, do whatever you want to. Um, I, myself, have not grinded out this Krillin. Um, I want to grind him out. I just don't have the time or patience to actually do this right now because he's going to be back in the future. Uh, but Broly, I did grind out. Go ahead, get your bio Broly. He is going to be available. He Doken Awakens with the medals from the event. Um, actually, that's one thing I didn't do. I never grinded the medals for bio Broly. God damn it. <laughs> um, Android 18 medal, seven of her to Doken Awaken, the strength one that was available from the banner. Uh, the Goten and the Trunks, the OGs, Agility and Physical Super Saiyan, Tr uh, Goten and Trunks, all Doken Awaken as well with the medals from this event, seven of each type you need as well. Uh, the Trunks, I would focus on him. I know the medals will drop from the same stage, which is stage number two. Um, so it's RNG, but go ahead, grind them out while you can. I would recommend just grinding them out so that way you have them on hand, even if you don't have them, because once you get them, you're going to want to Doken Awaken them. Android 18, not so much, because she doesn't have... I did a full like video on you know, team building with these guys, and Android 18 just doesn't link well with anyone, because she is like one of the only super androids like hero androids that is available in game so she doesn't do good on a hero's team she doesn't do good on a um on a strength team the only one she really links with on a strength team is android 17 and the only time you're gonna run him is if you're running an lr broly and chances are if you're running an lr broly you're probably not going to run to run the androids uh, but anyway that's just my you know my little two cents in there anyway again like i said this event ends today so go ahead grind it out while you still can on the other one, now this is we're going to the summons, uh, the banners, the banner for the category system runs until 1127, so you have the rest of the month for that, you have about 20 days left, you have a lot of time, um, I think it's worth it because you are given a guaranteed SSR and three discount multi summons for 30, uh, 30 stones a piece. Uh, there are all the featured LRs in it, so I really think this is a good banner for those of you who are looking, you know, who are, have been saving your stones because you only want to do it on Doken events. You might want to throw at least one multi in here. I'm not saying it's going to be guaranteed for you if you still just really want to hold off because Gogeta should be around the corner. Um, if you didn't see that video, I'm pretty sure now I'm changing my opinion to thinking that Gogeta's right around the corner since they released the category system and he is one of the primary fusion units. If we have the fusion categories available, it will make people more enticed to summon on that Gogeta banner because they have the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta lined up to make him even more powerful. That's just my opinion on the matter. Uh, because they released it this time, I think that Gogeta is going to come up after the World Tournament. Don't hold me to that. I don't know. I don't have the insider information. Just uh, just some speculation on my part. Um, <clears throat> from this, you could get the... This Trunks and this Goten are, real, or Gotenks are really good. Uh, per personally, I think the all the Gotenks are the ones that are the most worth it. They all Doken Awaken, except for maybe the Agility one. Um, but they all Doken Awaken into really good units, especially the physical ones. So the physical one uh, from this banner is the primary one you're going to want to really you know, aim for. Um, or the Sin Shen one if you don't have him. Anyway, again, that ends at the end of the month, so you have time. Next one is the Crossover Summons is now on. That runs until the end of the month also, 20 days for it. Now, this is a really good banner. These cards are only, only available on their own individual banners. So that means you cannot get these on any other banner. It only comes out maybe once, twice, maybe three times a year. So if you don't have these cards, I would recommend pulling on it. 
uh, some good ones to note. The uh, Kuriza up over here, you see over here, he is LR Freeze's best linking buddy, so if you lack strength units, he would be someone good who you would want to run. Um, that's just all I have to say about that. He links very well with LR Frieza. Uh, everyone knows that um, from back in the day, uh, when, when this first came out, we found out that he was one of the best linking buddies for him. Uh, Karoli is just good to have on a Fusions team because he hits off most of the link skills for the Fusion characters just as a fill-in unit uh, if you're lacking them because, you know, throwing on someone like, you know, skinny tanks or fat tanks just because you want to have someone on the Fusions team kind of sucks. So he's really good. As I said before, Pandel is also really good because of her unbridled attack buff, uh, buff to all fusion, well, to all allies. But she's a fusion unit, so she gets buffs as well, which helps your health and defense. Um, Barlot, he's cool. He greatly raises attack, and he has a, um, a nuker passive, which is like attack plus 15% and defense plus 10%. So that's really awesome. And Bullpan is just key, key support. So if you have anyone who needs key support, she's good. And Weir is someone else to note, uh, just because he is really good for LR Gohan. If you don't have LR Gohan, he might not be so awesome. He's good for almost LA, any LR, though, uh, especially uh, physical types. So, like, if that LR Trunks comes available, he'll be really good because he changes two types to physical, two, two key orb types on the field to physical. Um, and that's about it to note, because Saliza and Janembu both kind of suck. Anyway, that's it. This one runs until 11.27 as well. Like I said, 20 days left. Uh, these are the two new units. I haven't done a full review on this banner yet, but I just want to let you all know since I haven't done it yet. Next one is Legendary Summons is running until 11.13. So you have that for another five days. Um, this is where the LR Goku Black is available as a featured unit. There's just a lot. Like if you see over here, there are so many freaking units. The chances of pulling him are very low. Uh, a lot higher than what they typically are for an LR unit. Um, I'm not going for him just because I'm not a big fan of his Dokken Awaken form. Uh, his the card art, amazing, but recover 15% of HP at start of turn, which is cool. I like that. Attack plus 30% with each attack received up to 120%. Yes, after he gets attacked, um, what is that, four, four times, he does a lot of good damage. But, I mean, honestly, I don't really need that. Uh, I, I think he is a good unit. If I was to pull him, I'd be uh, very happy about that. But I'm not hunting for that card specifically. If I pull him, I'll, I'll definitely, you know, max him out and stuff. But I'm not hunting for the card. Shout out to Danny, because I know you got him. Congrats, bro. I know you really wanted him like I want the LR Gohan. I'm, you're so lucky that he had a featured banner. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, uh, the next one is going to be Burst of Courage, Super Warrior Clash. This is the Bio Broly's banner summon. It runs until today. So I, I don't recommend ever, you know, summoning on this one. It does have the featured LRs in it. So you can go ahead and summon if you want to. Uh, they're just, you know, decent units. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, the, I'll, I will say this, though. The Trunks, when um, it might be viable for a super tech team when going down Dokkan Battle Road or whatever the heck we're calling it nowadays um, on the on the global or the JP side when that comes to global because it's a guaranteed damage reduced by 40% when Guard is activated and he has some good link skills. So he might be uh, useful there. Uh, and then the old school, the OG Trunks uh, should also be viable because he's going to be good on a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks team, the physical one. Uh, this this Goten is definitely not bad at all by any means. I just think, you know, Trunks is a staple. This guy is really not a staple, but he can be used. Uh, so take that for what you will. If you're a well, go for it. If you're not a well, I wouldn't recommend it. Now we're on the JP side of Dokkan Battle. So for all you JP players out there, if you're a global player and that's all you want to hear about, go ahead, leave me a like and let me know down in the comments below if you like what you saw here. Um, and make sure to subscribe. I'm going on to the JP side now for all the JP players. So let's go into that. JP side, we have the potential orb events open daily until 11 16 2017 so that's going to be available every day that's where you go and you get the actual orbs in order to increase the at the, the stats of your of your characters through the dupe system um yeah available daily for 11 16 and you get some rewards through the missions um by completing them i think up to like 20 times and you get like dragon stones and an elder kai or something like that um the bio broly event is also available to 11 21 we just went over that for the global side stuff so go ahead and run that on the jp side nothing's changed so yeah, everything's the same over here, so I'm not going to go over the event again. That runs until 11.21, so you have some time to run that. Um, the reprint is here also for the Saiyan, the, the Saiyan Threat event that runs until 11.21. This is the one where you have the uh, Nappa, the Vegeta, and the Kid Gohan that you can get. Now these titles have all changed, the card art is pretty much the same. Uh, they had different titles back in the OG days. The stats are a little bit nicer on the newer cards. <laughs> uh, you also can get this uh, this one who was the uh, Princess of Snake Way or something like that. Anyway, this is where you do and wake in your uh, Raditz and your Vegetas. These are the two summonable uh, Great Apes. And then you could also farm Nappas. And then when you farm Nappa, you could do and wake him into a Great Ape if you want to. 
a uh, whole bunch of stuff over here. You can go. This is where you grind everything out. Um, and that's about it. Though. Plus, a Dragonstone per stage. you got a whole bunch of Dragonstones if you haven't already done so. This Nappa isn't really worth it, but it's cool for collective purposes or if you're just trying to run a great ape team to have them there. Um, outside of that, at least grind out the Moon Nappas. They are a pain in the butt to grind out, so get them while you can. Um, you definitely want to be able to Doku and Awaken these guys to increase their stats. Uh, again, it ends on 1121. Next one is going to be the Dragon Ball GT Black Star Saga, I believe this is. It runs until 1121. This is where you get the metal apples and metals to Doku and Awaken some cards. So you're going to have your Trunks uh, medals over here that you can Doku and Awaken this uh, Technique Trunks. Doku and Awaken him into another Super Saiyan. He becomes a little bit more viable. Base form Goku, which is farmable from the event. Doku and Awaken into a Super Saiyan. Um, I believe that he Doku and Awakens, he's a farmable from the event, I'm pretty sure he is. And Metal Rildo, uh, Doku and Awakens into, like, this hype of Metal Rildo. Anyway, yes, Goku is farmable on stage 2. You want to grind out the Metal Apples, you can go into the Baba Shop and get a whole bunch of cool items. Definitely recommend doing that. This is the Pan Metals I was talking about on the global side for Doku and Awakening. Um, those fusion characters, so you can get them on stage 6 if you have to. And Metal Rildo is farmable from stage 9, so go ahead and take advantage of that while you can. Um, you also can get metal apples from like the little thing where you get crystals or jewels uh, from the Baba Gems uh, on the quest mode. So go ahead and do that. And as you see over here, you can see what the actual apples look like on the bottom. Uh, oh, that's actually funny because this is the old school one. Um, the old school way it looked before they changed up the outline. So they never updated that picture. Anyway, uh, yeah, cool event. It's worth it's It's a grind fest. It really is. But it's worth it if you have the time and you want to get some cool items from the Baba Shop. Next one is the Trick or Treat event. We already went over that on the global side, so this ends on 11.15. Um, go ahead and do that, the Majibu Trick or Treat event for the Vegito, uh, Vegito, Candy Vegito. I haven't grinded it out on the JP side. I'll, I have one, but I might grind it out now. Uh, next one is going to be the new stage appears, Ultimate Union, Patara of Flesh. So this is the physical Super Vegito stage. It's currently available. You're going to want to go ahead and grind that out if you have the time to do so. This is so you can 77 medals. Now this will come back weekly. This is just going to be available daily until 11.17. So grind it out while you can, while you have the time to do it. Boss is going, you can get from the Z hard stage of this, the base form Vegito. So base form Vegitos will be farmable, which is awesome. Um, so you can go ahead and get him. I'd recommend getting him up to Super Attack 10. Um, and then also going and farming the other uh, base form Vegitos up to Super Attack 10s as well because you have the power to do so. I actually have a whole bunch of Intelligence Vegitos on my global account. Now that I know that this is coming, I might just feed him into Baba for a whole bunch of points. Um, the other one, yeah, then the, the Super Stage is where you get the seven medals and, well, two different types of medals in order to Doken Awaken him. Oh, okay, so Super and Super 2. Oh, so Super um, is the basic normal agility Vegito, and then super two that gets a stage added so stage one now has the ability to drop this okay that's awesome good to know i didn't know that that was actually a thing i thought they added a new event for it which didn't really make too much sense to me but whatever uh, i did a full review on this information guys so if you haven't done so go ahead check that out base form vegeto is also token wake and i don't recommend token waking them until you have a super attack 10 since they are now farmable anyway that's that wow that's a mouthful Again, runs until 11.17, so you have about just over 11 days left until that ends. We also have the power ba uh, attribute banner that's available, or the strength attribute runs until 11.17. It has all the cool units. These are the two units you want for extreme and for super uh, for the super teams. Uh, again, not so something you're going to want to primarily pull on unless you're really into running mono teams. Or if you really like that Super Saiyan 4 Goku team, you're going to want that Kaba. Plus, I'm pretty sure the Broly is available. The, the attribute banners typically have the attribute LR on it, the 90% LR on them. So you can go and summon on that, and you get double Elder Kai. So it's definitely not a lose-lose, but if you're saving stones, don't do it. If you don't really care about spending stones, it might be worth it for you if you don't have either of these two support units. Next is going to be the Majin Buu summon banner that is available. This Buu, I thought this Buu was new in my last uh, weekly grind video. Uh, it turns out it's not. <laughs> it runs until 1117. Um, it has all the Majin Buu category um, cards on it, so you can go ahead and summon there if you're looking to run a Majin Buu category if you like that Super Vegito. Uh, again, it's really, you're just going to want to make sure you get all the Super Saiyans, because running Boos on that team is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, unless you have, like, Kid Boo and Buhan, those are, like, the, like the intelligence Kid Boo and Buhan. Uh, then you run them too, and then on the other side, like, Vegito and something else. It just sucks because then you can't utilize a double Vegito. You really would primarily want Super Saiyans on that team, honestly. Uh, anyway, last but not, well, we have two more to talk about. Doken Fest holding, so this is the Super Saiyan, or the Super Vegito event that runs until 1117 as well. This is the summons. You have physical Gotenks and Kid Boo, which is awesome. I don't have this Gotenks at all on either. Well, it's not available on Global, but I kind of want him just because I don't have him on the Global side. But he's just a reprint of the Tech 1, just a lot more powerful. Anyway, I just think he's cool. 
but that runs until 11.17, so if you want to try and summon for Super Vegito, go ahead and do that there. And the last one is going to be the Thousand Day Banner ends in two days, so if you still have those leftover tickets, guys, go ahead and summon on if you want to utilize them while you have it. Once it goes away, it will never come back, and you will lose those tickets, so make sure you go and summon on it. They should be available in your gift box. If you didn't do the dailies in order to get the additional ones, you will not be able to get them again. The tickets are done. If you don't have any available, then the banner is not available for you anymore. It does end in two days. Make sure you go ahead and grind it. But wow. All right, guys, a whole bunch of stuff I was said there. Here is a list of everything. I just threw it up on the screen in case you want to read it again. Um, you can go ahead and pause the video while that's there. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Go ahead, follow me on Facebook on the Multiverse. This is going to go post, get posted up over there as well. Go ahead, check out the Reddit. Check out dbz.space. Shout out to all those guys because there's always awesome information over there. Uh, anyway, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.